lot of fun. Speaking of prizes, Joe, you don't know about this. Okay. But James Murray and I were discussing one of his more harebrained ideas the other day. And uh, the more I thought about it, the more I, I knew people would love it. This is, this is, I already don't like this. Let me refill my <laughs> wine glass of cranberry juice. <clears throat> this idea, Joe. When I first heard it, I, it went through my mind of like all things when we talk about Murray of just like this oily weirdo yep. fucking weirdo. But the more I thought about it, Uh-oh. the more I really do like the idea. In fact, it replaced, I think, because I had an idea too. I don't even know if I want to discuss my idea on this week's show. Your idea is so good. So take it away. So it occurred to me <laughs> that we have a lot of fans. Hold on one second. Already, you see why I think it's an oily, greasy, weird <laughs> ferret face, fucking weirdo it's him thing. Trying to get an iPad, trying to figure out. <laughs> it's how not. To somebody. Well, maybe that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Go ahead. So, it occurred to me recently that we have a lot of fans. We've got what two hundred and forty thousand fans on the official mm-hmm. IJ page. We've got fifteen, twenty thousand on our individual pages, and. There's so many fans out there that would love, they would die, they would kill, maim, torture to spend the night with us. Right? Wait, 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 hold on. And it also... <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. Shut, hold on. Just just shut up, hold on. Okay, now, Joe, <laughs> you see where I'm coming from. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a poor start to the idea. It really is, and he's not a pitch man when he comes to his ideas, because you are so delusional... In your thoughts, that people would actually maim someone to see Mur. Oh, continue. Hear, I'll hear you through. Hear me out. Hear me out, okay? So, it occurred to me that there are fans out there that would give a right leg to spend <laughs> a night with us. I'm not saying sexual, necessarily. No, see, you say necessarily, and that means... Uh, all I'm saying is they, they, would, they would kill to, 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 to spoon. To have a night out, a dinner, drinks, maybe a little dancing, maybe some spooning afterward, maybe a light makeout. Okay? Have some light petting. Uh, maybe. But I don't know. That, that, whatever happens at that point is between two consensual adults. Okay? It also occurred to me that I need more money. <laughs> so it's like uh, uh, peanut butter and chocolate, right? Right. You put two great things together. I need more money. I, don't ask what I need the money for. Just assume that I need it for some kind of operation or some kind of good cause, okay? I need money. There's no middle ground. It's either an operation or a good cause. <laughs> this is where he started to win me over, right, right so, here. I, I, I enjoy having money. I also enjoy our fans. It occurred to me, why not have like, a, a, like an auction, if you will, to, to, to spend a night with Murr? You hear yourself. Okay, first of all, that was a terrible movie called Win a Date with Tad Hamilton. You are no Tad Hamilton. Second of all... Oh, he's not saying win. He's saying buy. So you're basically saying... eBay. Right, shut up. You're <laughs> basically saying, okay? Hey, I'm so fucking cool that you could give me money. Give me money and I'll hang out with you. I, I and pro- possibly stroke a puss... <laughs> Outside the pants. <laughs> uh, that's, what, that's basically what was happening. I forgot to mention a portion of the proceeds we donate. Don't mask it in charity. You're not donating <laughs> shit in that charity. Guy, he, that, he, he's, he's fucking, I guilted him into that. <laughs> don't say, don't, there's only one guy on this friggin' podcast that's charitable, and it rhymes with not fucking you. Okay? <laughs> I'm the charitable one. Don't you dare disrespect charity. I will donate a portion of the proceeds to like UNICEF. <laughs> <laughs> or some bullshit. Some, some bullshit. You know, people that can't do things for themselves. <laughs> listen. Listen to me. Okay? There's a lot of people that can't do things for themselves. <laughs> and you pretending to cuddle someone. Let me ask you something. You, you know what? You're, you're, you're overreacting. And this is a good, good Good idea, and I'm gonna do it no matter what. Because I'm telling you, how much money, how much money do you think I could make or raise for charity? <laughs> uh, raise for charity to, for an evening with Murr. Again, not necessarily sexual, but who knows what'll happen? 
That's all I'm saying. You're going to have fun. You're going to laugh. We'll drink. We'll dance. It probably depends on what she looks like. <laughs> well, you know. No, 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 not at all. It depends. You know, it won't be sexual unless it's a he. <laughs> very good. Very good. Now, so anyway, how much money do you think, honestly, I could raise? Oh, if you raise more than a dollar, I would fucking throw uh, up on humanity. If anybody would pay a penny to hang out with you, they've got problems. They should not be spending you, money on I'm it. Gonna, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to raise like a, like five grand. And you're going to watch me take that money and donate it all to ch- a portion of the proceeds <laughs> to charity. Right. And, and that portion of the charity, the kids in UNICEF who get fed from it are going to be like, thank God for First James of all, Murray. the portion of proceeds that you donate is not going to buy a rice for a kid in Bulgaria. Because <laughs> yeah, you're going to give them like a, a nickel. Honestly, though, how much money do you think I'll actually make? If, if, if this was a legit... Auction, which I'm I'm going to put it up and do it. Right. How much money do you think I could realistically make? We, we will have friends' problems if you really go through with this venture. He's going to do it. It's He's going to do it. It's, 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 uh, it's something bad people do. It's something bad people right, do. Right. He's going to do it. <laughs> That's what I'm you saying. What? The only reason it's bad is because I'm honest enough to admit that I want the money. If I was set, if I was giving all this money That's to, uh, you know, if, if a celebrity did this, not that we're celebrities, but. If some uh, some B celebrity did this and, and said they were giving all the money to, uh, you know, Sally Struthers and her kids in Africa or whatever, you'd be like, oh my God, I would totally do it. And they'd make 50 right, grand. Right, because it's helping someone less fortunate. And, and of that 50 grand that they raise, about four grand goes to that charity because you don't hear about it because it goes through all Sally Struthers organizations and all that nonsense. Right, but none of them goes in their pocket. You don't know that. Yes, I do because good know. human <laughs> beings don't do what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I, your mistake is assuming I'm a good human being. <laughs> that is not a mistake. It's a it's a hard lesson I've learned over years of me I, trying to reel you in. I will tell you this. It, I will spend the money I earn because it's it's my time as well. Right. If you were teaching a class at night and you got you, you this, somebody hired you to teach a class and they said, Joe, we want you to come and give a lecture about TV and we're going to pay you three grand to do it. Would you feel guilty for spending you, that earning that money for that time that you're? For your own time? Is this why you told Sal not to come tonight? <laughs> this conversation right now? Because you know what would be happening if he was right here. I, I thank God that Sal's right here. He would, <laughs> he'd be, his head would be exploding right now. Here's my only thoughts on it. One, if the person's in California, you got to go to them. No. What do you mean, no? Well, if it's the right amount of money, maybe. Right. This is like an intimate one-on-one night. I yeah, let me, let, me, let me tell you something here. I'm doing something similar, but for real and for good. Okay, I'm buying somebody a $500 cup of coffee. Yes. Because they donated to a charity that I am going to be uh, giving the money to. So I am giving them my time for charity. So they, they, they donated $500 yes. to Daniel's Music Foundation, yes. which is a great charity. And in exchange, you're taking them out for coffee. Yes. Well, that's bullshit. I want like five <laughs> grand. No, not the charity. That charity is a great charity. I love it to death. That being said, I want like five grand for an intimate one on one evening. Until the sun comes up with myrrh. <laughs> I don't understand. He, First Joe. of all, it can't be until the sun comes up. We live together. <laughs> yeah. You're not bringing this person back here. So take oh, out of your top line right there is a hotel room. If the money's right, I'll get a holiday in at the Newark airport. <laughs> <laughs> I, Joe, I don't think you're seeing the forest for the trees here. Let's see what happens when this fucking ding bat goes through with this. <sighs> uh, answer honestly. I, if I, when I take a lady out, Oh no! When I take a lady out, I can't. I can't even look at you when you say sentences like that. <laughs> when I take a lady out, do am I not good? Do I not show a, a lady a good time? You're a gentleman, of course. I'm you know, a we've gentleman. You're right, Mark. We have a lot of fun. Absolutely. We go out. We do it right. We have great dinner. We'll go out for drinks afterward. Maybe a little dancing. An awesome lounge. Maybe we'll go to like a rooftop bar. Like fun is had. It, it, it's charming. It's fun. You know, I, I'm interested in them. We get to know each other. We become friends. What happens afterwards between two consenting adults, and legally, that's that not, part, not part of this deal, so please don't sue me. That being said, so, so we'll have fun. The, the person that... The, they're paying for the experience. I get you, They're and paying I for the that. night, and it's a fun experience. But why do they have to pay you for this experience? You are basically a reverse prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what you're doing. You, you know, that's exactly what's going on right now. No, I'm not selling sex. Murray. <laughs> Prostitutes don't always have sex with you, but you got to get fucked. I'm, I'm an escort, not a Oh, not, now not don't a catch me with buzzwords <laughs> that you Googled on Wikipedia. <laughs> you know what I no, mean. No, it's bullshit. There's it no difference between an escort and an escort that cuddles you at night. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is bullshit. I'm not a prostitute. I ain't no hooker. 
Okay, I have a heart of gold. <laughs> and no, the, the the fact of the matter is, I'm much more like an escort. It's a it's, right. it's 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 companionship. Exactly, I provide companionship for an evening with a Z level celebrity. If you were to get if you were to get a uh, 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 an escort here in the city tonight, right. it would cost you about two thousand dollars for the night. Okay. This is accurate. And that's an escort. Oh, oh and, how, and how do you know that figure? <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> long story. Can't go into it in the podcast. Anyways, an escort for a night in New York City, average going rate is about $2,000 for the evening. And that's okay. for a couple hours, right? And you don't know what you're catching. You don't know anything like that. Right. And it's not necessarily even sexual. You could just go and, uh, you know, go to the Barnes & Noble with them. And that's what you get, okay? So I'm offering the same service, but for a lot more money. <laughs> well, and, no, and you, I, you have to, you, you have to, you have to put this on eBay. James no, the absolutely. Dice, if, they, if, if, if it goes to twenty five dollars, you got to do it for twenty five dollars. Well, it's not even going to cover the expense of the day. Hey, well, man, that's the gamble. That's the fucking gambling you're taking. I'm not sanctioning this unless that's the deal. Well, what if the auction accidentally gets pulled down if it only makes twenty five dollars? No, okay, okay. That, you have my word. Okay, there you, you have go. my word. There, I, what's fair is fair. If it makes $25, if I raise $25 from somebody that wants a night out with Murr, I will take him out for a night out with me for $25. Right. If it makes $2,500, right. I'm taking him out for a, 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 an equally awesome night. Both nights will be freaking awesome no matter what. Okay. Not is that, okay. Is that fair enough? Not okay. <laughs> Not fair enough. It shouldn't happen. But that being said. <laughs> so on the next podcast, yeah. which will, will hopefully be in a week – the most two weeks. Yeah. You will have all the details. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set it up, have all the details, right. and the auction will be live. And ladies, I assume it's going to be ladies. Maybe whoa, it's going to be a guy. Yeah, what is this it, dude? Absolutely. It could be a guy that, that, that spends five grand, whatever. It's cool. Five grand. Oh. You are just so delusional you think anybody's paying five grand. We'll see what happens. Wait, 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 I'm wait, putting wait. it out for the universe and see, seeing you know, what our fans think I'm worth. Joe, what if he gets $25,000? I w- if he gets $25,000... Date I'll, with date yeah. with Joe? Yeah, I will. Like, it'll be a double date, and I'm splitting it with him. <laughs> um, what I do promise, now this is my little pitch to you, ladies and gentlemen out there, fans of Impractical Jokers. I promise you this. It will be the most amazing night of your life. And that's kind of creepy, the way I'm saying it. <laughs> it's not but, kind of. but trust me, I will show you an amazing night out on the town in New York City. What if it's not the most amazing night of their life? Yeah, what's their refund policy? There's no refunds. There's, oh, no refunds. There's no receipts provided. That's it. But it'll be an awesome time. We'll have a great time. You can bid. Uh, uh, by the time you hear this, the, the auction will be up. And I encourage you to bid. Uh, and uh, You do realize what a toolbox you sound like, though. I do I? Yes. I don't think so. Well, that's the problem with you and nature. <laughs> but you do realize that you are asking people to pay to hang out with you. You think you're that cool. I, I, Just, I never said that. I never. How could I think I'm? It's going to be a fucking no. awesome night with no. Murr. Pay me to hang out with me. No, if, if I'm willing to do it for twenty five dollars, I'm not an asshole. All right, do it for free. No, I if, so, if, if a fan free. of the show came up, if a fan of the show came up to you and said, "I'm a lifelong fan. I own every T-shirt," which you could get at tenderloins.com. <laughs> <laughs> I I uh, I seen every episode. I call for Larry. I you know I do all this. I love your show. Could we hang out? You'll say. I, I already have said on many occasions, you know this, yes. You know that. I take a fan out for coffee for free. Okay. And I treat So them. now why does this person Because this is going to ex- blow that out of the water. This is going to be an all-night extravaganza with maybe a little uh, tickling at the end of the night. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Have you spent time with the fan one-on-one and tickled for fra? For free? Yes. That's not, shouldn't be talked about. What kind of question is that? You know he has. Okay. So, now you're asking somebody to pay for it. What other people have gotten for fra? It's now trying to charge people for oxygen. <laughs> oh, wait, now you're going too far. Shut up, Q. <laughs> you're saying that a night with James Murray is like oxygen? This is a ramblings of a madman and someone needs to rein him no, in. No, no, no. Right. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not being egotistical or arrogant. If, if I am worth $25 in America's eyes, so be it. I'm still going to show you a hell of a night. I'm so- if I'm worth, worth 5000 which is my minimum, <laughs> then, then so be it. I can't believe you're not on board with it. Don't you want to see what road, <laughs> this is the where it leads us? Our friendships, Q and Murr versus Joe and Murr. You love watching him crash and burn. I, I'm the guy that tries to help him. I don't think he's going to crash and burn. No way. No way. No way. I don't think he's going to crash and burn. No, I just don't think it is what people... I think you undervalue what your own worth. It's, it's your own insecurities that's... that's <laughs> yeah, right. I'm insecure. insecure. <laughs> it is. You don't think you're worth anything. Right, right, Mark. What? You don't think there's somebody out there that wouldn't see 
a night out with Joe Gattos being like, oh my God, that would be such an amazing night. I could tell my grandkids about it because, you know, <laughs> it, 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 you know, because it's amazing. And, and you don't think there's somebody out there that says that Joe's worth, I don't know, $30,000? <laughs> I think there's plenty of people that may say that, but I would never charge them to find out. And that's the difference, Mark. <laughs> that's the difference between uh, an entrepreneur <laughs> and an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. I'm All doing right. it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You can start your bidding next week. Okay? Keep your eye out let's for that. Um, so, Joe, yeah, my, my idea, uh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. It's not... Uh, no, I think we should only have one ridiculously fucking stupid idea podcast. Whoa, that whoa, we whoa. I'm not trying to make money off anybody. Oh, okay. Such a hater. Such a hater. I'm just, you trying are a hater. To, I'm just trying to raise a portion of my proceeds for charity, and you're trying to hate. You don't you dare disrespect chari- the word charity again. I'll stab you in your UNICEF mouth. UNICEF needs one tenth of my earnings. And if we're wow. going to talk about raising money for charity, let's talk about somebody that's doing it for real instead of a guy that's masking it. All right. Uh, all right. So Mars uh, greed slash. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Stupidity? No. What's the word that would like uh, when you know, a philanthropy? Philanthropist. Philanthropy. Slash greed.